Hello everyone, I am Mohammed Azam Badar, AWS Certified Solutions Architect and in this video I am going to show you how to prepare LAMP server. And please remember to subscribe my channel for weekly videos. So let us get started. Here I am in AWS console. First go to your preferred region. I am going to launch this EC2 instance in Ohio region. Click on this one. Click on services and click on EC2 in compute category. And this is our EC2 dashboard. Click on instances. I don't have any instances in this region. And I am going to launch a new instance. Click on launch instance. And I am going to choose the second this Linux AMI and let me check yeah this one select general purpose T2 micro is fine and don't change anything here I'm going to keep all details as default and next click next add storage by default it is selected 8 GIB and it is fine for this project. Click add tags and I am going to call this lamp server. Next configure security group and I am going to create new security group call this demo security group. And I need to open two ports for this. The first one is SSH, the other one is HTTP. And I only need to open two ports for this project and now click review and launch. Go down and launch. And I'm going to create a new key pair in this region. Lamp key pair and remember to download your key pair here because this is the your only chance to download your key pair save on desktop folder save and launch instances and view instances and this Linux AMI instances is getting initializing and this is in pending state and it would take some time to become available EC2 instance is up and running and it has changed its state to running and it has passed all health checks and now I'm going to connect to this EC2 instance via SSH by using PuTTY I already configured everything and I'm going to click open click yes and now I have connected to my EC2 instance let me make this a little bit bigger And now I change my permission to root level. Clear screen. And now I'm going to prepare my LAMP server. To do this, first I'm going to update all packages. Clear this. And now I need to install three more soft software to make this LAMP server and those are Apache, PHP and MySQL and now I am going to install all packages and dependencies at the same time and I am going to run this command click enter 
and it's going to install all required packages and dependencies at the same time it is done let me clear screen and now I'm going to check our uh, system yes it is, has confirmed we are using Amazon Linux AMI release 2018.03 and now I'm going to start our Apache server it has started and now I'm going to make sure this server start every time whenever we reboot our system it is done and now Apache document root folder is owned by root by default let me check let me show you what I mean and this is owned by root and I need to change these files and directories permission to our EC2 user and let me show you how I can do that add your user in this case EC2 user to your Apache group and now we need to exit this uh, system so our system pick new group to do this run exit now check our new group EC2 user is added to Apache group yes it is and now I'm going to change the group ownerships of our www and its contents to the Apache group and to do this I'm going to run this command enter and now I'm going to change the directory permissions of Apache document root www and its subdirectories to add group right permissions and to set the group ID on future subdirectories and to do this I am going to run this command enter and now enter and now I'm going to change the file permissions of document root folder and its subdirectories to add group write permissions and to do this I'm going to run this command enter and now clear this screen and now I'm going to secure the database my SQL start enter yes it is, has started and now I'm going to secure this database to do this I'm going to run this command enter no password password again
yes 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 this is all done it means our database is secure now and now i am going to start now i am going to start our my sql database so it start every time and to do this i am going to run this command let me clear this screen first to start my sql server at every boot i am going to run this command it is done and now i am going to move to document apache document folder and i am going to test my lamp server to do this i am going to cd now i am in html folder and i am going to make a new index.html file here to do this i am going to run nano index.html here i have added some html code in my index.html file and i am going to uh, save and close this file control s and then control x yes enter and now i have index.html file in my html folder in our apache folder and let me uh, access this from our uh, http link copy this public dns and go here and open this one and here our web server and it means everything is working as expected and now we have a fully functional lamp server and please let me know in comments below if you have any question about this thank you very much bye